in this matchup here, we will see two former Universal Champions go at it. That's that's right. In my Universe mode, they are both former Universal Champions. Mojo, Mojo Raleigh, who definitely is feeling disrespected, but he's definitely got to be feeling some of the wear and tear from last night's Money in the Bank match. Definitely should be feeling some of that effect because he's about to go out against the guy of Cesaro, who didn't really do much last night. Cesaro definitely wants this win here. He has gone nowhere. He has gone nowhere, essentially. He's losing that Universal Championship. Cesaro has been offered by Drew McIntyre and Finn Balor to join Balor Club and they'll find a way to help him be successful again but I don't think Cesaro Cesaro hasn't been very eh he hasn't been saying yes to them but he hasn't really been saying anything to them so anything could happen here this could definitely if he loses to Mojo anything is possible but Cesaro needs this win here the wrestling cyborg needs a win here but Mojo wants a win too. Saying he ain't hype. And here comes Cesaro. Suplex off the bat by Cesaro. And a counter by Mojo. Mojo's like, I saw how the other match started. Uh uh. Watch this power slam. Power slam right there. And Mojo, Raleigh, says, hey, we both had big years. Both of us won the big one. Both of us won the Universal Championship. Yeah, maybe our range were different lengths but uh and now mojo strengths up here and dodge that one jump over that one mojo raleigh with look at the power slam right there and that could be it to defeat cesaro and the ref getting down uh late and look cesaro not is unkicked out yeah that could have been it and mojo telling the ref what the hell man like that was my win right there and now here comes mojo raleigh Went good countered! Went for a spear and a counter by Cesaro. Cesaro says that's my counter to that move. Uppercut. And a coho knock him out. And Cesaro's like, I want to go out there and do what I got to do and beat him. Cesaro's like, yeah, this is what we want. And now here comes. Here comes Mojo in front of the Salt Lake crowd here. They've been uh, kind of weird tonight, but Cesaro... Definitely came here to win and not here to lose. And look at Cesaro. Wow, Samoan drop right there. That's power right there. But Cesaro, Cesaro hoping for the win right here. But the rope break will save Mojo Raleigh. And look at the strength of Cesaro to pick up Mojo like that. And give him a forearm right there so Mojo knows where he's at. And Mojo Raleigh to the outside. Cesaro will fall in there. But look at Mojo Raleigh. Smart enough to get the advantage right there. And now Mojo Raleigh from behind on Cesaro. And back drop right there. Dropping all oh, look at Cesaro. That's genius. And Mojo Raleigh is asking for him to get back in the ring. And now Cesaro's gonna turn the tables on Mojo the same way Mojo did Tim. And look at the strength of Cesaro just to pull him from the neck and throw him. It's a big boy right there in, in Mojo Raleigh. Cesaro. Neckbreaker. Leg drop right there. And Cesaro's like, I can do what I need to do. I'm the Swiss Superman, man. And 
Cesaro now picking up the remains of Mojo for Snake Eyes. Bam! Right there. And here comes Cesaro. Quick speed. And oh, Mojo dodges and lets him run to the outside. And now Mojo going to let the referee count Cesaro out here. But Cesaro making his way. Oh, wait. What's he? He's making his way under the ring. What's he thinking? What's he thinking? Cesaro, none of those weapons are your friends. That's an, a clear disqualification. And here comes Cesaro back into it. And throwing punches. But now Mojo counters it. And now Mojo has control of this situation. Just tosses Cesaro out like nothing. And two very powerful men in that ring against each other. Former football player and the Swiss Superman going out of here. Close line that knocks down Cesaro. And look at Mojo going to the strikes here. Trying to strike everything. Trying to get the life out of Cesaro. Shot counter right there by Cesaro. Now suplex. Suplex. Wait a second. Hit knee. Knee hit right there. Now Mojo just throws him again. It's like these two men just want to prove how strong they are to each other. Mojo Rawley is like, I'm done with this guy. Watch this. Watch this, Cesaro. You can't counter this again. Wait, where is he going? Mojo. What is Mojo Rawley doing here? Cesaro trying to figure out what the heck's going on here. And Mojo. Shoulder block from the top. And Mojo turning over Cesaro for the pin. And a kick out by Cesaro at two. These two guys are giving it a pretty hard fought battle. A brawl between two horses. Mojo hoping he's a new hype. But now counter and look at Cesaro quicker with the punches. And Mojo. Trying to figure out where the hell he's at. And Cesaro counters it. And Cesaro says, I'll counter it. Into a jumping uppercut like that. And that could be it. Mojo could be counting the lights. And a kick out though. And Mojo's like, uh, I don't think that's the way it's going to work for you, buddy. And Cesaro countered by Mojo. Now Mojo. Oh, chop block, come on. The chop block, and you all know what's about to come next. It's time to get a high piece, trying to hype him up here. And we could be seeing the end of the match here. Uppercut, oh, Cesaro gets the way out of that one. Cesaro now. Cesaro, wait, submission, sharpshooter. Sharpshooter, yes. Sharpshooter, sharpshooter. Oh, but too close to the ropes. What were you doing, Cesaro? That was it. Went for the chop block again. And removes Cesaro out of the equation. And Mojo's like, go ahead. And the ref's starting his count now. And Cesaro doesn't know where he's at right now. And Mojo's like, yeah, I'm the guy. I'm the best. He ain't hype, but Cesaro trying to figure out where he's at. A four count. Here comes Cesaro back into the ring. And again, the top block again. Definitely wants to hurt. Cesaro, and look at this. This is Mojo's hype. And you've been hyped out. And Cesaro kicks out. That would have destroyed the internet. Mojo won. Mojo now thinking I'm going high risk and if I can nail this we're good oh and big knee to Cesaro and the pinfall there's no way Cesaro kicks out of this one and a kick out Cesaro again he knows this is a big match for both of them this is a, a match that can help them regain momentum and put them back in the good graces but look at Mojo just stomping away Mojo doesn't even care which is like I'll just keep stopping the crap out of him and Cesaro, an eye rake. Super strength. Cesaro, here he goes. And oh, God, take it now. 
And Mojo saw him running. And Mojo chokes them out in the kick out bites. Cesaro. And Mojo says, I got to pick him up. I got to keep picking him up. And I got to keep doing whatever I can. Counter there. Now by Cesaro. Suplex. Time. Cesaro, where is he going? Cesaro's going high risk. Telling Mojo, I see you down on the ground. Elbow of the heart. That could be the win for Cesaro. But he's taking too much time, I think, to get that pinfall. Oh, God. Oh, God. And Cesaro says, I'll take this one. An elbow to the heart gets Cesaro the win. And Cesaro, wait a second, wait a second. What's Cesaro doing here? Oh, just weeks of built up frustration from Cesaro of not being utilized, not being given a chance, not being given a match again, just being buried down. Cesaro wants to send a message to Mojo Raleigh. Don't forget how dangerous Cesaro can be in that ring. Are we seeing the second coming for Cesaro here, man? It's time for NXT action, and we're going to get a Casey Cantazaro ready to go. It's going to go in action against Dakota Kai, who uh, said, hey, I made a friend in the NXT roster, and I'm going to bring him out here with me. Dakota Kai, who's been mainly on the NXT UK roster. Uh, been around the NXT UK and the uh, NXT roster in the back, just hanging out in the back, you know, seeing what the, that roster has to bring to it. And uh, apparently made a friend in that roster, and she's going to bring her out here tonight. That's Dakota Kai coming out with her friend tonight. Coming out with Raquel Gonzalez. Dakota Kai making her way out here and uh, NXT could be uh, could be seeing a change very soon with Dakota Kai. You gotta wonder what Raquel Gonzalez is trying to get out of the friendship. Because again, no friendship is, is normal here in the WWE. No friendship is normal. Every friendship, somebody wants to gain something out of it. And and Case is like, come on, we got this. You and me can go out here. And Casey and Dakota, here we go. As both ladies want to get up the ranking uh, on the NXT roster and get in the big spot, get in the big moments for the women of NXT. And now Dakota. Dakota's like, where are you going, huh? What do you think you're going to do, huh? Do you think that's going to work for you? And now Casey, again, one of the most athletic women we can find here. And she'll do some things that uh, makes you smile. Oh, center! She's got some athletic ability that it, it is definitely something you want to watch. Definitely something that you don't it will make you go ah ooh ah but Dakota Kai a well-renowned star in that ring can work her way in that ring and can get the job done and then it's two women here that believe that they should be stepping up and they should be moving up in the com in the company and they're getting the chance here on main event to to get a bigger platform to, to do what they got to do and uh, get there now this is in the front of the WWE universe here these shows are filmed before Raw Smackdown and look at Ra Raquel Gonzalez making her way into the ring and Contezaro is like what are you doing a moonsault, though, as Dakota Kai was out for too damn long in there, and a kick out, though, but uh, Raquel Gonzalez was trying to make her way into this ring, and you got to wonder what she's going to do to help Dakota Kai win here. And away, oh, look at this electric chair there. And trying to go for something, there was nothing there for her. And Dakota Kai might just be messing up here. Maybe it's nerves. It's, it's what's coming into here. And a drop kick by Casey. He's in the top ropes there. And Casey right now is looking good. Looking like a star right now. And Dakota Kai right now looks a little uh, lost. Maybe the bright lights are hitting her here. Maybe uh, she's just nervous here. But Casey right now is doing whatever she is. She's doing whatever she's doing right now is getting her the wins. 
Casey Joe, look at what the f what was that? Uh, it was like a springboard arc. I don't even know springboard cutter. That was impressive right there. It's Casey now needs to get back into it because now Dakota coming in now and Dakota Kai with the what the roll up leg. What is this? She just got her. I don't know what that was gonna, be, but it was impressive. These, both of these ladies are doing things that um, are making me go like, what's going on here? Casey throwing our hands right here. Casey throwing hands onto Dakota. So you got to figure this out, huh? And again, saw it once. And they're going to stop her there again. Now Dakota Kai's like, I'm tired of that. I'm tired of your little jumps and your little flips. I'm going to bring it down to my level here. DDT. It took them trying to take the legs away from Casey. No, they that's gonna be a big move in her being able to jump around, do whatever else she wants to do. And Casey in trouble here. Look at Dakota Kai. Dakota's like, yeah, that's that's what I do. Casey's back starting to hurt a little bit more now. And now being picked up here. Suplex! No shot through the back of the neck there. Picking it up right here. She should have gone for the pin. I think she messed up there. And a kick out though. Counter by Casey Cantanzaro. Bam. And taking down Dakota there. Any means, any means necessary. She got the hit into it. You gotta wonder when Raquel Gonzalez is gonna take when she's gonna step into this ring again. And now Casey coming outside, looking at Raquel like, "Hey," and looks like you're gonna step away, huh? It's like step away, like, step away. I'm gonna do it. And she's like, "Whatever you gotta do." But Dakota Kai, look at that! Got out of that one. Use the speed there. Super kick. And Dakota telling Raquel, bring her in the ring. And Casey's telling, don't touch me again. Casey's trying to figure out. And Casey's telling Raquel, you touch me again, I'm going to beat the crap out of you. I was like, I'm not going to do nothing to cause my, my girl her match. And here comes Dakota. Oh, back. God damn. That's a win. Dakota Kai with a win. And Dakota Kai with a win. Uh, Casey was a very impressive. Did some very impressive maneuvers. Just couldn't put it all together for a big win here. And uh, we'll suffer the, the the loss. But that super kick right there looked like Dakota was like, I'm gonna just leave her to the outside now. I'm gonna just leave her to the outside while I get this win because that's the most important thing to me. She just left her outside. Was like, whatever. Raquel is telling her finish her. She's like, finish her. Raquel is telling her finish her and beat her down. And what is Dakota doing here? What's Dakota doing this? What is she doing? What is she doing? Dakota, no, come on. This is not, this is enough. The match is over. The match is done. Casey does not need this. And now, what is Dakota? Oh, Dakota's unla unleashing a beatdown right now. And the ref's like, bring somebody out. And now, what is she doing here? Dakota picking her up. Power bomb. And she's like, I'm not done with her yet, ref. Not done with her one bit. Oh, come on, come on, Dakota, Dakota. Oh, kick to the side of the head and look at Dakota Kai. She's not stopped. I don't know what is going on here. Dakota Kai telling Casey, that's you. A kick to the back of the head and another kick again. Dakota. Uh, she might have just tried to cause a concussion there or something, but Dakota Kai. Uh, uh, Casey, get down. Just stay down. Oh, 
the B team of Dolph Ziggler's entourage. A member, a man who's actually been drafted. I'm surprised as anyone he's been drafted to ECW. So finishing out his uh his turn with SmackDown Live and Dolph Ziggler not happy with the fact that Curse Axel has been drafted away and uh, hey I don't know what I don't know what Curtis Axel has in him that uh, that is seen by Paul Heyman, but uh, apparently he's been drafted over, and, and we are seeing the last days of Curtis Axel on SmackDown Live, and he'll be a member of the ECW roster. Uh, Dolph, though, saying, "Hey, he's going to stay part of my entourage. He's going to go succeed in his own way on ECW. He's going to succeed and take my." my teachings with them and I'll keep constant with them I'll text them I'll call them I'll do whatever I have to do to make sure he succeeds the way he signed up for my team and Jinder Mahal a member of uh, Dolph Ziggler's entourage was able to make it to the finales of the King of the Ring tournament uh, eventually he lost to the winner obviously in the finals of EC3 King EC3 now reigns over Smackdown Live now as he's now a member of the Smackdown Live roster and going to challenge Roman Reigns for the WWE Championship at the next SmackDown pay-per-view, The Bash. But this is a man right here who tried his hand in singles action a couple of uh, a couple of uh, weeks, a couple of uh, days ago, actually, not weeks, days uh, at the King of the Ring tournament. Uh, he tried to get the European Championship. Otis, baby, the Dozer. Otis tried his hand; it didn't work well. But tonight, Tucker's like. Otis, get yourself some tonight. Get you some tonight. Get in that. And let's, let's, let's take down Curtis Axel. Remember, these are two SmackDown teams for now. Well, Curtis Axel is still there. But the Otis and Tucker experience ready to go here. As Heavy Machinery is going to be watched on this matchup here in Main Event. As it is Otis's time to do his job. And see if he can take down a former, uh, former champ. Yeah, Curtis Axel has been a former champ. Yeah. And now, here comes, here comes Otis, and Otis is, is looking like a man possessed, and Curtis Axel better watch himself, because Otis just dropped the beast, oh, and Axel, Axel's like, I don't know what the hell's going on here, oh, Axel trying to get away, you're not getting anywhere, and look at Dolph Ziggler trying to interfere here. Try to interfere and get in this. And oh, look at Axel Kitty figuring himself out. But well, here we go. Oh. Axel, you're in trouble now. Big, bad. Otis. Dozovic with the world's strongest slam. And Axel might be dead. Axel might be dead. Where's Otis going? Tucker's like, get up there, my boy. He's like, get up there. Take flight. Oh, oh my god. Axel got out the way of that one. And went for the big boot. He got the boot there. And while the down, Otis is down. Axel's gonna take advantage of this and try to go after him, but no. Knock him out, knock him out, knock him out. Boom, run him over. And now this is this is getting out of control. Otis right now is just running run ram shot. Through Curtis Axel, here comes the world's strongest slam, the Otis Slam game. And Dolph Ziggler again interrupted in the match, but the ref's like, I'm not gonna take it. Otis Dozovich, Otis gets the win, and that that was easy. That was too easy for Otis. I don't know why Axel was drafted to ECW. And he's a permanent member, but I maybe we just saw why. And Dolph Ziggler talking to the referee, telling him, "Hey, I was distracting you. I was talking to you to get into this, and you need." And Dolph out there running his mouth, talking to the ref. And Otis is going to get the win here, and a big momentum for him, big win for Otis here, and uh, maybe it can help him out. Maybe get some momentum going for Heavy Machinery. More, uh, more, sp more. They're more exposure for them here in the WWE and giving them more experience to deal with what the WWE is compared to what NXT is. And uh, we'll keep moving along here on Main Event. 